starts this video from Surrey Assist. To celebrate the La Liga and Surrey partnership, I'm going to be doing a number of scouting videos, all based on the La Liga. Today I'll be highlighting all the best players for Atletico Madrid, and stick around because at the end of the video I'll pick my top 5 players and rate each one out of 10. Before all that, if you just discovered the channel, then welcome. If you're a new Spanish manager, then holla. If you're a returning visitor, good to see you again. On this channel you'll find all the survey content that your brain can handle and managers of all experience levels will find this content useful. So make sure you subscribe by smashing that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to be the first to be alerted about any new videos. If you find this video useful then please give me the thumbs up by clicking that like button. If you haven't signed up to survey yet then what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. If you have any thoughts or questions about this video, then drop them below in the comments section. Right, now that's out of the way, let's get stuck into today's content. So as I said, to celebrate the fantastic news of the Surrey and the Liga partnership, I'm highlighting all the best players in the Liga over the next few weeks. Today, I'll be highlighting the best players from Atletico Madrid. Stick around till the end because I'll be giving a Surrey assist rating out of 10 to my five, top five picks, okay? Thoughts on my own and remember to do your own research. Right, let's start with the goalkeepers then. So that is of course Jan Oblak. He is the obvious choice, first choice keeper for Atletico Madrid. Does come at a price as you can see here by his one month average of the rares and but he is one of the best goalkeepers in the Champion Europe division. As you can see from his scores here, absolutely brilliant. Fleco Madrid do keep a lot of clean sheets. They're quite a defensive team as well. And that is highlighted by the high scores here. And the potential high number of clean sheets mixed in there as well. So now let's move on to the defenders then. First up is Steven Savic. 30 year old. Um, price wise around £173 scores wise is fairly decent player obviously when he's playing he's going to be getting those clean sheets as well that Atletico Madrid do offer you so he is a decent player and at quite a decent price as well for a champion Europe team no defender I like the looks of is Mario Hermoso 26 price wise 130 183 Scores wise, similar to Savage, but obviously he's a little bit younger than Savage. That's probably represented by his slightly more expensive price. But the scores again are looking very impressive. As you can see here, he's got a 92 and an 80 and quite a few 70s. So very good scores for a defender. Next up, we've got Kieran Trippier. 30 year old, obviously English guy. Price wise, 239. I think that is. Um, a very good price for this player he's very consistent as you can see his numbers look very good he did have rumours of potentially moving away from Atletico Madrid mainly to Manchester United potentially um, so I don't know if he's still in favour with the um, the manager at Atletico Madrid but I expect him to become a regular again in that team so he is a very, very good option for your um, Champion Europe defence. And the last defender I've gone for is Jose, Jose Maria Jimenez. £430 this guy is. That is the average of the last two weeks. Now that does look a little bit expensive to me. He is only 26, but judging from his scores, some very good scores as you can see, but not that much difference to his scores to Stefan Savage and Hermoso. So looking at that at the moment, that doesn't really look the value price for me, but he is still a fantastic option, but you might want to wait until the price comes down slightly. So now let's move on to the midfielders then. First one I've gone for is Marcus Lorente, 26 year old, um, price wise 585, and, but his scores look absolutely fantastic. And as you can see here, he's on a little bit of a run of not that very good scores, to be fair. 
but he is certainly capable of getting these higher numbers as you can see here so this price may even be a little bit lower than it is due to his last five which tends to happen people tend to buy off the last five performances and this guy has got uh, an average of 43 in the last five so that's going to bring his price down so as you can see a month ago it was 724 so now this looks a snip to me and as you can see his scores are absolutely fantastic another midfielder is Yannick Carrasco this guy has got a good previous five um, he is certainly capable of getting some decent scores and his stats look very good as well and his price doesn't look too bad really for Carrasco um, he's been in and out of the team here as you can see but he's a very very good player and these scores show that as well of course so he does look a very good option in the midfield and the price doesn't look too bad really so the next midfielder I've gone for is Rodrigo De Paul this guy is 27 is recently transferred well he transferred last season I think it was from an Italian side Udinese potentially scores wise as you can see are absolutely brilliant okay price is probably showing is how good his score capability is so it does look a little bit on the high side in terms of the price there but I think you could probably get him for a better price than this and if he does get in the team and start playing a regular starter which he does seem to be anyway then this guy could be a very very good option so the next midfielder I've gone for is Thomas Limar um, 25 year old he was once uh, touted as a hot prospect he's not really in that category now because he is 25 but it does look a very good option still as you can see here it's got a few did not play so he's still sort of trying to break into the Atletico Madrid first team there but he's certainly got a bright future this guy um, and he is capable of getting some high numbers as well if we look at the last all of his score high numbers as well he's even got a hundred here in one game um, but some of these scores look good and he's fairly young really and that price looks cheap as well so he's one that I do like the looks of his stats if he gets a few more regular minutes starts playing 90 minutes a bit more then I think he's going to be a very good option so on to the forwards now and the first forward I've gone for is Luis Suarez he is 34 now but is still capable of getting you those goals so his 811 pound was the best offer recently one month average is 968 he is 34 like I say but don't let that put you off his scores are absolutely fantastic he's probably one of the main strikers for um, Atletico Madrid now although of course Griezmann has come back to the club but I expect Griezmann to play on the left and Suarez potentially play in the central position and be more of a goal poacher really. So I expect him to be getting plenty of goals in this season's campaign. And as you can see from his scores, he's got plenty of um, high scores there. And speaking of which, Anton Griezmann, fantastic player as we all know. 30 year old now, he's 30. Price wise, he's coming at a premium because obviously he's a very popular player. Um, he's obviously won the World Cup with France as well. Scores wise look absolutely brilliant. He was having a bit of a rough spell at Barcelona when he was there to be honest. But towards the end of last season he started to come into a bit more form. Showing the old Anton Griezmann that we knew before he went to um, Barcelona. But when he was his previously at Atletico Madrid. Because obviously he transferred from Atletico Madrid to Barcelona. He was a fantastic player for Atletico Madrid. And I expect that to continue now he is back at the club. And these scores are absolutely fantastic, as you can see. But you are going to be playing a hefty price there for this guy because obviously he's a very well-known player. So the last player I've gone for in the forward category is Jao Felix. 21-year-old, touted as a fantastic hot prospect. Even Ronaldo has said good words for him. Cristiano Ronaldo, that is, has said good words about him. He has had his um, injury troubles recently. He's been in and out of the side due to that. But I expect him to have a very, very bright future, this guy. When he does play, his stats look absolutely brilliant. As you can see here, when he was actually in the team a bit more, getting 90 minutes, he was showing some fantastic numbers. 
If we look at all his scores, actually, yeah, that should show a few more games where he was playing some regular minutes. And for a 21-year-old, it does look an absolutely fantastic option. All the stats look great as well in terms of his number of passes, crosses, key passes, big chance created, that sort of thing, and goal threat, of course. All look fantastic, so I expect this guy to have a very bright future in the game. So now I'm going to reveal my personal top five picks and give the players a server assist rating out of 10 based on their SO5 scoring ability and consistency. Now these ratings are meant as a guard and to give you a good idea of my overall thoughts and a good indication of how I rate that player. Let me know if you like this rating system and I'll look to include these sort of ratings in future scouting videos that I produce. So let's reveal my top five Atletico Madrid picks. So there you have it. There are my top five player picks. So I've gone for Oblak with a rating of 9 out of 10. Kieran Trippier in the defender category with an 8 out of 10. Anton Griezmann with a 7 out of 10. His rating could potentially be more if he showed more consistency at Barcelona. So I expect this season it could potentially go up to an 8 or 9 in terms of the ratings here. Next up I've gone for Marcus Llorente. 7 out of 10 for him. And finally Luis Suarez at again 7 out of 10. Because like I say I do expect him to bang quite a lot of goals in this season so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i will be doing another video in the next few days featuring the barcelona team i'll be highlighting their players and again i'll be sharing my top five picks if you have any thoughts on today's video then drop them in the comments below what do you think are there, are there any players you'll be buying or do you agree with my top five let me know below if you enjoyed this video, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to pin that notification bell to be the first to be informed about any new videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And also check out my free website, SoroAssist.com. Links are in the description below. There's also a link in the description if you want to get signed up to Sora today and get those all-important free limited cards. Okay, that's it. I'll see you again in the next video.